Hi everyone, Claire here and I'm a Canva Certified Creative and in today's training video I'm going to be showing you just some of the ways that you can use Canva to create reels for Instagram. So let's dive in. Reels are all the rage on Instagram at the moment but if you're anything like me you may not feel confident in showing your face and talking or dancing around and pointing. So today I'm going to show you two ways you can create reels to share valuable content with your audience using Canva without showing your face. The first thing I'm going to do is show you where you can find the reels within Canva. So from your homepage, you can search in the search bar here, Instagram reel video, and it will give you all the options. So if you select the top option here, that will take you to the library where you can either create a blank Instagram reel video and create and design your own, or you can choose from one of the pre um, design templates from the Canva Creator Library. There's lots of gorgeous templates in here, but today I'm going to show you how to create your own. So we're going to select a blank reels template here. Now there's three ways uh, that reels are viewed inside Instagram. So you need to think about the dimensions and bear these in mind. As you can see here, the first dimension is the Instagram grid. So my top tip here is to always make sure that the front page of your reel is an Instagram square and that way it's going to fit seamlessly into your Instagram grid. The second way somebody might view a reel is within their Instagram feed, which means as they're scrolling down, they may view your reel within the feed without going into the app itself. This is key to bear in mind to make sure that you keep all of your critical information and text within these dimensions so that they don't have to go into the app itself to uh, see all of the critical information because it's been cut off within the Instagram feed. There's several ways to create reels in Canva, but today I'm going to show you two of my favorite. The first is using just one slide and embedding a video training or tutorial within a phone mock-up. And the second is using a series of slides with timed animations to create a video sequence with transitions. Because once you've grasped the basics for both of these, you can then use your imagination and creativity to try different variations and see what works for you and your audience. In this reel, you'll see that I've used one frame for the full duration of the reel itself. And to create this effect, I recorded a short camera tutorial and I recorded my screen and voices I narrated what I was doing. A top tip with this is to think ahead and consider the type of frame that you'll be using in your reel or in your project. And this isn't just a great tip for today's tutorial, but also when creating any design using this technique. So for example, if you're going to use a mobile mock-up like this one, you're going to want to make sure that your video is in a narrow shape that will fit inside to a mobile phone element. If you're using a laptop or a desktop, you're going to want to create a shape of a normal screen, a more horizontal shape. This is a great effect for creating a scrolling screen of websites or sales pages, for example. So now I'm going to walk you through and show you exactly how I created this technique and this reel in Canva. I'm just going to give myself a blank um, screen here to show you. So the first thing that I did is I went into the elements tab here and I scroll down and I found the frames. And this is where you'll see all the different shapes that you can pick from. And you'll find the desktops and the mobiles and the tablets, for example, or books. Um, and you can just select your frame and pop it into your design. Then you can obviously resize that just by dragging the corners and then you can use your grid lines here with the positioning, obviously that's the center and you can see you can move it around. These are so helpful to um, really ensure that your designs and your projects are looking at high quality and have that really high end touch where you're really considering your spacing and making sure that everything looks in line and is adjusted. So once I have my frame here, what I did is I went and I recorded in a separate canvas screen the tutorial that I wanted to do and then I uploaded it here via the uploads tab. So I went upload and then I uploaded my media which I just went into my uh, desktop, I found the video file, uploaded it in and then it goes into my video library here and you can see the video here and then all I need to do is drag that across and that will snap into my frame. It starts playing automatically so I'll just uh, I'll turn that off there. So now the video is within the frame, this has turned this into an mp4 file now because it has um, audio and video in there so that's going to allow me to download it as the reel. And then the next thing that I can do is I can now decorate my reel, uh, my project around this and add in my own branding. So for example, I can go up here and I can go into the uh, shapes tab, lines and shapes and get a square. 
and then I can change my color using the color palette here. Now I've added my brand colors in here so I can pop my green color in for my branding and I can move it across and you can see it's trying to guide me and I can pull it down and put that there. So now what this done is this has given me the uh, square as the top layer because it's the second element that I've added into my project. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the position button here and I'm going to move that backwards and that's going to pop that colored block there behind my mobile phone element so I can bring it forwards or I can bring it backwards. And that's really useful as you're layering up your designs to manipulate and move elements around and get the look and feel that you like. Now, the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to add my text. So as you can see um, in this reel here, I've got Canva tricks, finding color codes from a photograph. So I can either go into my text box here or you can have a shortcut by just pressing T on your um, keyboard and that will give you a text box. So I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to make this black and I'm going to type this in in Canva tricks and I've done that in sentence case there but a nifty little trick if you do now want to change that into capitals is you can go here and you can use this button here and that's going to convert that into uppercase for you and you can do it the other way around so that's a really useful um, little trick if you do want to play around with your design and see how things feel I'm just going to increase the size of my text box here and now I'm going to use again those guidelines just to bring that along and I am going to put that back into substance case now I'm running out of room so I'm just going to resize this just a little bit to give myself a little bit more room. And now I'm going to do the subtitle. So finding colour codes from a photograph. So I'm going to give myself another text box here. I'm going to put this one in my gold colour. So finding colour codes from a photograph. Okay, so you see that doesn't quite line up there. It's a little bit too large. So I'm going to double click to highlight all of my text and then I'm going to use the resizer here and I'm going to take it down and then I'm going to just adjust the size here to bring that down to a place that I'm happy. And then I'm going to use my guidelines again just to make sure that's lined up and centered and, and looking really good. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the gold and the elements along the bottom and my logo and things like that. So what I might do is you can have a look in the elements tab and you'll see along here there's lots of different ways for you to find um, different graphics, whether you want still graphics or vectors or stickers or videos, whatever you want to use. You can be really, really creative. So I'm going to go into graphics and have a little look in here. OK, so what I want to do is I want to have a look for the, um, the love heart. Um, so I'm going to do love social media. Now the Canva search is really, really intuitive and it will show you anything that is tagged within these keywords. So it's really, really great. Instead of if, if there is something in mind that you want to find, you can use that search and it's really powerful and it will serve you things that it picks up. So I really like this um, love one here. So what I can do is I can resize that and then I can just adjust that there if I wanted to. So I'm not going to put anything because I know I've got the narration in the video. I'm not going to add any music and I'm not going to add anything too busy because the video itself is moving and there's going to be uh, my voice narrating the tutorial. So I don't want to distract too much from that. Canva is also brilliant in that it gives you magic recommendations. So depending on the elements that you click, it will show you other things that it thinks you may be interested in. And that's really, really useful if you see a brand that you like. So for example, if I liked this leaf, uh, click on the dots here and it'll actually tell me exactly what this element is, what it's called. It's going to show me who the brand designer is, whether it's a free or a pro element, and also all of the keywords. And what I can do is I can either click see more like this and it will serve me similar elements or I can look in the view more by Canva originals and it's going to show me everything that is within that brand designer and this is going to be a really great way to help you build up your brand identity and your brand consistency. So now what I want is I, I want that gold strip and I'm just going to type in gold and see what it's going to bring me. So I quite like this um, this gold here. So I'm going to bring that and I'm going to resize it and I'm going to move it across. It's got that sort of metallic, really nice metallic 
uh, shine to it. And again, because it's the newest element that I've bought in, it's now above, it's the top layer of my design. So I'm going to make sure that's selected and I'm going to send that back behind my mobile screen there because I don't want that to get in the way of my tutorial. Okay. So as you can see, there's loads and loads of ways that you can add um, some fun, some movement and things to your Canva reel. So there we have it. We have our first Canva reel where we've used the phone mock-up, we've used some fun stickers, we've used the text where we've learned how to change the colour, change the size and obviously here you've got your uh, different fonts that you can choose if you want to upload your brand font or find one that you like. So now all you need to do if you want to download your reel is go to the download and it's going to suggest an mp4 video and then you can select the page. Obviously I've duplicated the page here so you would have just have the one page of around 30 seconds um, and you're going to export that as an mp4 and you can upload that directly into the Instagram Reels app. In this reel you'll see that I've created a step-by-step -step tutorial showing my audience how to use the fantastic new smart mockups feature in Canva. To create this effect, I've used several slides and used a range of tools within Canva to create the visuals. Once you've created each slide, you can then add your animation, which will change the project from a series of PNG or static images to MP4s and create the video effect that we need. As you can see here in the first slide, I've kept my initial image in that Instagram grid square so that it fits seamlessly into my feed when people look at my uh, grid as a whole, but then the remaining um, sequences are all within that Instagram feed so that all of the key information can be seen. So to create this reel I did exactly the same, I gave myself a blank Instagram reel but what I've done is I've given myself additional pages by using the plus um, sign here. So I've created my tutorial by taking screenshots as I've gone through and made my design I've taken a screenshot of each step and I've imported those as images into Canva again using the upload tab here. Just to show you how I've done that I've got an image here and then to find the arrows again I've gone into the elements tab here and then into the uh, graphics and then under there you will see you've got shapes, frames, lines and you can find your arrows there and then you can find an arrow that's going to be fun. Um, to draw attention to key parts and again you can brand those and change the colours and then you can add your text again using the um, text box over here or you can type uh, T to get your shortcut so you could write your steps and your explanation here if you wanted to. So once you've created all the pages in your project with all of your tutorial, you're ready to add your timings and you do that using the little edit timing button up here. So as you can see, each of these slides has its own allocation of time. And what you want to consider is to, that you're giving your audience enough time to consider and consume the information and to read all of the text that is on page. So some pages might need longer than the others. You always want to make sure that you're giving your first page a couple of seconds and your final page a couple of seconds so that they have time to be attracted to the reel but also then follow your call to action whatever that might be so for example is it to follow you on instagram is it to engage and answer a question and comment below is it to dm you is it to go and follow you on another social media platform or join a group whatever it is you want them to take the action from your reel so as you go along on each page, you select your time and you can do that by moving the timer up and down here. So for example, we had that on three seconds. If we move that up to six and a half seconds, you can see the time here also changes. So it allows you to keep track of where you are with your reel. Reels are 30 seconds, so you want to make sure that your video is under that 30 seconds where possible. So now you've adjusted the times on all of your pages, you can actually also add animations using this button here, so page animations. So these are all the different types of ways that your designs can come in. So you can add some fun visuals and keep people interested in your reel as they transition through the pages. Obviously time is of the essence with your reel, so I quite like the stomp because that makes the text and the graphics come in with a bang and it also uh, reduces the amount of time in your transitions. So the final thing I've done with this reel is because I'm not narrating it and it's just pictures and visuals, again to add a little bit more interest I've added some audio, I've added some music. So by clicking the audio button on the left here it gives you Canva has a really wide range of music that you can use and it will tell you whether it's free or pro when you hover over it so you can have a look at the type of music that you'd like and all you need to do if you want to take something over is just click it and pull it across. 
So once you've created your wheel, you can preview it by pressing the play button here. And that gives you the chance to read through and view it as your audience would. So you can make sure your transitions are right. You can make sure you've allowed enough time on each slide to consume the information and get those key points across. So let's have a little preview of this one and see what it looks like. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. There you go, two ways that you can create reels using Canva without having to show your face. These techniques are really versatile and once you gain your confidence, I really encourage you to go away and explore all that Canva has to offer to put your own stamp and creativity on creating reels for your business. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I really hope you're going to try some of the tricks and tips that we've covered today. And the best piece of advice I can give you when creating reels using Canva is to have fun, use your imagination and explore and utilize the wonderful tools that Canva has to offer. Everything is there for you to go and create some gorgeous reels that's going to help you grow your visibility and your business. I'd love to connect with you and you can find me over in my free Facebook group, The Content Styling Lounge, or you can come and connect with me on Instagram and I'm at the content stylist uk i'd love to see you there and good luck